everybody's talking about engagement. Do you think when my dad got his first job, they were talking about employee engagement? It's the depression. When most of us got our first jobs, do you think anybody came by and said, are you happy here? Are you enjoying it? We cared. But today, engagement is so crucial. The trouble is hanging on to that engagement because the biggest fear we have is this thing called disengagement. And according to all the polls, Harris, Gallup, whatever, over half our workforce is either not engaged or they're actively disengaged. Some of us think, well, not in my brand. Yeah, in your brand. Maybe they're disengaged people and you don't even know about it. So now we're, we'll just settle. We'll just reach up and we'll settle for engagement if we could just get engagement. And I'm saying there has to be more. People who will work for us like we would work for us. People who are on fire for our company and organization. That's what we want. So the reality is, we know what we want from them. Here's a question. What do they want from you? When we came into the workplace, most of us, we traded time for money. And that was good enough. Why don't we tell you something? This new generation sees things a little bit differently. We can focus on them. Them. But let's not talk about them for a minute. Let's talk about us. Because there is a war for talent going on and we want to win that war. And that means we have to be a better us. This beautiful white space and all of a sudden a dot and that's where your eye goes when you go into your stores you notice the napkin that's on the ground the light bulb that's burned out the kid that has a shirt's tail hanging out the grease spot that's on the front window it's what you notice it's the spot but here's all this white space we look past that and we point out what's wrong that determines everything about your culture so you can't just notice what's wrong you got to acknowledge what's right if you want to come in at nine o'clock Come in at nine o'clock, but if you're there at 8.29 or earlier, you get a 10% bonus on the day you're there. It's not uncommon to see the CEO get out of his car and run in to punch in, right? Because you wanna be there on time because you're rewarded for doing the right thing instead of punished for doing the wrong thing. This is sacrilege to most of you baby boomers in here because we grew up believing the customer is number one. The customer is king and the customer is always right. The customer isn't number one. The customer isn't king and the customer isn't always right. In our business, our people are number one. So I turn to my genius, I go, why are you clapping for him? And he goes, it's simple, it's his last day. And every employee at an Apple store gets a standing ovation on their first day and their last day. It's that degree of acknowledgement that inspires people. I can't promise you're gonna get a standing ovation. We've given lots of recognition and awards, but I can't promise you will ever get a standing ovation. But you can give one. And when you treat your people like they're number one, they can't wait to show your customers why they need to be there.